stars Robert Pattinson and William Dafoe, and it takes place in the 1890s, I'm pretty sure. It's about two lighthouse keepers who are sent there to just take care of a lighthouse for a few weeks, and as they do that, they both slowly descend into madness. So the movie's been out for kind of a while now, I think limited release, so I haven't really been able to see it. But I have heard good things about it, and a little fact about me is, I'm not that big of a horror fan, but I do like good horror. I love good horror. I just don't really like movies that are just really just torture porn, if you know what I mean. Like those Hostel movies, or even the Saw movies, even though I really like the first one. But I like good horror movies. In recent years, I loved Us this year. I love Get Out. I love movies like The Shining, movies like that. So when I heard this was a good horror movie that really made you think and was more reliant on the idea and the atmosphere more than just jump scares and horrific gore, I was excited to see this. Now, did I like The Lighthouse? I thought this movie was great. There's a lot of things to like about this movie, which I'll get into right now. Also, Robert Eagers, I think I'm saying his name right, I could be wrong, he directed the hell out of this movie. The shots are perfect. The movie shot so well you just start to not notice it anymore. It really feels isolated and everything feels really shitty, honestly. You really feel like you're trapped on this island with these two pretty terrifying people. Also the movie's in black and white and like the audio is a little shitty so it really fits this time piece perfectly. Like you really feel like you're watching an old fashioned movie. Like I said, a lot of these shots are perfect. The lighting's perfect. The cinematography's great. I can't say enough about the direction of this movie, it's fantastic. Also the performances by Robert Pattinson and William Dafoe, they are perfect. Some of the best in their career, probably definitely the best in Robert Pattinson's career. I don't know about William Dafoe, that's like hard to say. They are fantastic in this movie. You're very uneasy during this whole entire movie. You feel like one of them can snap at any moment. One scene they're really happy with each other, and then one scene they tend to hate each other. And you know what the hell's going on. There's a lot of hallucinations. You really don't know what's real and what's fake. And that's what makes the movie really interesting. I walked out of the movie not really knowing what the hell just happened. And that's a good thing. I didn't know what was necessarily real and what wasn't. And that's what the movie's going for. This is the type of movie that I feel like for years people will be debating the meaning behind certain scenes and certain things that happen. And that's what good horror does, or even just a good movie. You don't have to have the answers set in stone. It can be up to a lot of different interpretations. And also the movie's pretty funny. You'd be surprised for a movie this bleak, dark-toned, and very just unsettling imagery and just themes. But there are some pretty funny moments and it actually makes the movie better. Now, gripes about the movie, I really don't have much. I guess the only one is a personal gripe. It doesn't make the movie worse. I'm just saying it's a personal thing just because I'm stupid. I can't really understand things sometimes. But sometimes the, <laughs> Willem Dafoe's accent is just so spot on and perfect and thick. I just sometimes couldn't understand what he was saying, which kind of frustrated me. But like I said, that's my fault, not really the movie's fault. So I can't dock the movie for that. Also, I wasn't really that bored in the movie, but there are times where I was kind of like, where the hell is this going? I didn't really understand everything. And like I said, that's a good thing, but also at the same time, I sometimes felt lost during the movie. And like I said, that has to do with me just being stupid. But it is. this is one of those movies I don't think I'll see for a very long time. Like I said, it's just very unsettling. It's a very dark movie, and... It's just hard to rewatch. That's just a personal preference. I'm sure horror buffs will watch this movie all the time and keep talking about it. I'm just, from my personal standpoint, there are just other movies I'd rather watch and other movies I find easier to watch. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing because my opinion of movies is not the right opinion, obviously. I don't think any opinion's perfect. I'm just saying there's other movies I'd rather watch. What this movie's going for, how, with its tone and direction, it's perfect. It perfectly nails what it's trying to do. It's creepy, it's unsettling, the performances are great, the direction's awesome. This movie is fantastic. If you're a horror buff, you're going to love this movie. This movie will be talked about for years. I'm going to give The Lighthouse an 8. Like I said, this movie nails exactly what it's trying to do. I just, for me personally, there are other movies I'd rather watch. And like what I said when I started this video, I'm not that big of a horror fan. I love good horror, like this movie, and movies like The Shining and Get Out. Horror is just not my favorite genre, so I probably, will, I probably won't love this movie as much as other horror buffs. But like I said, if you are a horror buff, go see this movie. So The Lighthouse, it's been out for a while, so you guys have probably seen it. Comment below and let me know what you guys thought. Thank you guys so much for watching, and click here to see more of Davey Dave's Takes.